This old shack was found on the way to the mine. The park rangers called it the old stone house. There's a lot of writing on the walls and the beams. Fascinating. First evidence of the mine. Some equipment that we found right here. This is a, a cable spool. So this would be on top of the head frame, wouldn't it? Yeah, it would be at the open pit to either load in equipment or take ore out or you know yeah just heavy duty type stuff and here we are at the mine i feel like there's a really nice looking steel cable here you think it's possible to get in from here no, it's a cave -in. complete cave-in yeah at least this side is there's a uh, up, up there yeah two more Yeah, there used to be a door here. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, yeah. I see it. This place has got the old wood smell. Yeah, yeah. That's from a local brewery. The beer can? Yeah. Looks like there's a couple entrances, even if the main one's collapsed. So, right here. Um, so right there is where that entrance was earlier, where the door was, which I think would have led into that. But it looks like this whole thing collapsed in. Well, let's venture onward. Yep. So you see right here, if you look in there, you can kind of see how deep it goes. There is a 75 foot drop off shaft right there kind of see where there's a beam right there and there's some stuff holding it in so it doesn't collapse all the way like there's pipes and stuff there and some bulkheads but it definitely does not look sturdy especially since part of it already collapsed without uh, proper equipment I don't want to go down there you said a bulkhead slipped? yeah down there you can see it from right where you're standing? Yeah, I do. Wow. This is so cool. Yeah, it's not creepy or anything. 
Yeah. My camera just identified a face. Oh, shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, camera, there's no face there, but thanks for creeping me out. Yeah. Wow. That is incredible. Yeah. Looks like it goes up even more. I have to flashlight out. graffiti on right there. Yeah. Wow. Not much is known about the Haina Ruby mine. The mine was constructed in order to extract fluorite, a valuable mineral that's used in metal smithing. Near the base of the mountain, on the now abandoned Ruby Road, is the old spring house. That was the stone structure we found on our way up the mountain. And a date carved into the side of it. September 1930 is believed to be the construction date of the spring house, which serviced the Hanor Ruby Mine. In 1926, a man named Frank M. Hayner would locate three fluorite claims in the Oregon Mountains. He would name them Gloria, Live Oak, and Ruby. In 1943, he would patent those claims. By 1933, 400 tons of ore would be produced from the claims. The ruby mine would provide a lot of fluorite, and by the mid-70s the ownership would transfer from Frank Hayner to Audrey Hayner. Since then, however, the mine has been abandoned, left to decay and slowly collapse to the sands of time. See all these shiny bits? Yeah, I do. Yeah, that's what that is. That's fluorite? Yeah. I guess there's still a fair bit of it here. Yeah, I guess maybe it collapsed before we could get any more out of it. Thought it wasn't safe. And yet here we are. Yeah, it's fine. We're not like mining anything, so as long as we don't disturb it too much, we're fine. Yeah. Unless there's ghosts in here. Which my camera seems to think there is. Yeah. Ooh, look at these pro bowls. Yeah, unopened bottles of water. Free water, you want one? Heck yeah. There's so much of it here. And it just comes right off too. Really? Yeah. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. This is a very incredible find. And let's venture onwards to these bulkheads here. Look, there's writing on it. Huh. I want to be careful, there's some broken glass up here. People partying down here, I take it? Yeah, yeah there's a Jack Daniels bottle. So this right here is the cave-in. You can kind of see where the shaft is right there.
I noticed there's barbed wire around here. I wonder what that's about. Probably so that people won't fall in and if they do, they're hurt by their hubris. Yeah, there's a lot of abandoned mines that are closed up. Yeah. I'm glad this one's accessible, even though part of it's caved in. Yeah. It'd be really cool to find a mine that you can actually like climb down into. Those do exist. Like I've seen seen them before. I know of a few in like California and stuff, but I mean that's way out in Cali. Oh yeah. I know there's some here in New Mexico. There's uh, some near Shiprock. If you're ever out there. So this is the mine from above. The Hainer Ruby Mine is one part of many abandoned mines throughout New Mexico, all of which are important to its history and its culture. And now the Hainer Ruby Mine will never be forgotten. What a soul is best at story. What a soul is just a rat. What a soul is best at story. What a soul is just a rat. Just a rat. Just a rat. Just a rat. Do you still hear it? Yeah. What is that? I don't know. It sounds kind of like a bottle whistle. Yeah. But there's no bottles up here. Could it be the wind going through the metal on the frame? Yeah, but there's no open ends on the frame. That's bizarre. Yeah. I mean, it could be just like that one SpongeBob episode where they build like stone SpongeBobs and it's just the holes of the cave. <laughs> <laughs>